<gasps> Making a little drumstick with it. Also, don't forget to thumb this video. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making some viral TikTok ramen and noodle recipes. These are quick and easy and perfect for those late night cravings. This video is sponsored by Karma, a free app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. You can check them out in the link below. Now, I love using Karma for all my online shopping, including my grocery shopping. Recently, I was able to save 22% off my iHerb order. If you want to shop smarter and start saving money, you can download the free Chrome extension and start browsing your favorite stores today. Karma allows you to save any item you like and will notify you via email or mobile whenever it goes on sale, has a relevant coupon code, or comes back in stock. It's easy to use and I love that you can organize and plan your shopping using multiple wish lists. You can see here how I've organized my saved items. Another really cool feature when you use the Karma Chrome extension is that it will scan the web for coupon codes and you can apply them at checkout. This saves you lots of time and money. If you shop at select retail partners, Karma also gives cash back to you and to a good cause. You can download the free Karma Chrome extension using my link below. Now let's get cooking. This first ramen recipe is the viral TikTok ramen. You asked, we delivered. Today on Just a Trend or Do It Again, we're making the TikTok ramen. Start by cooking your ramen noodles until al dente. Then in a skillet, add butter, minced garlic, and soy sauce. Add in a tablespoon of brown sugar and as many red pepper flakes as you'd like. Then let the sauce get thick and add in your noodles. Add your egg and then let that cook and combine everything once more on top of sesame seeds. We finish it off with some more sesame seeds and scallions. Okay, we need to start off by cooking the ramen noodles. Say hello to my little zen. <laughs> we back, we back. I'm just gonna pop it in the pot, pour some water, and then let that cook. By the way, guys, there's some construction happening outside. So like inconsiderate of them, but yeah, FYI, sorry for the background noise. Now we can pop some butter, garlic, and soy sauce in the pan. In goes some soy sauce. Next goes in a tablespoon of brown sugar. This is gonna be like super sweet. Can I put more soy sauce? Why is mine looking so dry? <laughs> Hit it with some more soy sauce. Chili flakes. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna mix the chili flakes, so. And then the noodles can go in. Give that a good mix. And then I'm gonna pop in an egg. I can never crack this with one hand. Can you? Yeah. Oh my God, you can? Should've got you to do it. That's pro. That's like Jamie Oliver stuff. I should probably use a spoon, but you know, Asian cooking. Use chopsticks. My mum has these like really long chopsticks and she's literally like from up here, like. And then I'm gonna pop this into a bowl. Leave no egg behind. Sprinkle on some sesame seeds. Make it look pretty. What is this yeah. angle? <laughs> I want to be in the shot as well. Okay, guys. Some green to make it look a little bit more appetizing. Though, you know, I hated greens as a kid. Obviously, I've grown up since then. You're growing a kid. <laughs> I'm growing a kid, yes. Moment of truth. Okay, guys. Taste test. Oh, that smells good. It tastes like me goreng, a spicy one. Oh, a really spicy one. I shouldn't have added that many chili flakes, but it's good. It's good. Look how many waters in. Oh my gosh, that chili. Remind me to lay off those chili flakes. It's good though, it's delicious. Wow. Mmm. It's freaking me goreng. Mm. It's me goreng, guys. You know how Migori has that sweet, dark soy sauce? I think that's what the brown sugar and the soy sauce kind of combines mm. and makes. Pretty good, pretty good. Have another bite. I only cooked one, I should have cooked more. I was gonna try, but let me just have another bite. Who can have our leftovers? I already know it's good, so. 
my finishes. <laughs> I should have made like two or three packets, but we've got a lot of noodles to get through today, so we're gonna be so bloated after this. Alfred's not playing games today, he's actually doing some work. Mm. I made it from scratch. What do you mean, like no packet? I you mean, I didn't a... make the noodles, but <laughs> it's still from a packet, but the sauce, it's from scratch. Does it remind you of anything? Migoreng. Migoreng. Pretty good, must be healthier. That is it really healthier? I added like butter and brown sugar. Butter, butter, brown sugar. Yeah, okay, but... give it back, give it back. Why are you taking it away? Because Usually... I only made one of these. <laughs> Usually leave me the whole thing. Mm, not fair. Not fair. <laughs> yeah, it's a thumbs up. It's a good recipe. If you guys like carbs on carbs, this next recipe has 12.4 million views. For this recipe, she uses the Shin Ramen Cup Noodles. It's now for the messy yet fun part. Pour the noodles out and you smash it. It's not coming out. <laughs> so there it goes. Oh my god, is that all the noodles you get? That's like so small. But no wonder I always need to eat like two of these. Oh my god, it's not easy. I just use my hands. <coughs> no, can't. It's just flying everywhere. It's actually not very easy. There you go. Okay, can we break the rest with our hands? Oh my god, Dad, it's like okay. flying everywhere. Okay, that's pretty good now. Took us a while, but we got there. Now I'm gonna pop in the flakes. Toss that around. And this is actually going to be fried. In goes some oil. So I'm going to fry these until they turn like a nice golden brown. Shin ramen is delicious. You cannot deny that. One day they will sponsor me. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what did you do? Did you touch him? One underwater. You can touch me. Cooking 101. Do not touch a hot pan. It's taken a while. Oh, some bits. Maybe I should just spread it out and leave it. Now we're getting there. The only problem now is like the smaller bits are toasting, but the bigger bits are still quite light. Popping it back into a bowl. I think she only pops half of the seasoning sachet in the toasted noodles. Now I'm going to grab my white rice and then crack an egg into here. Actually, Zen, you're going to crack. Because you said you can crack it with one hand. Imagine I fail. Well, the internet will see you fail. No pressure. No pressure. Oh! Yeah. She don't lie. She don't lie. Bravo. That was so stressful. Bravo. Then I can add the rest of the seasoning. The rice is like cold rice, so, you know. Takes a bit of effort. So it looks like she has some oil and butter in the pan. Oh, wee! You make me melt. Now we can fry the rice. What would Uncle Roger rate my fried rice? Does not look delicious yet. Now I'm going to add back in the toasted noodles, but I'll save a little bit. Give that a mix. Time to assemble this masterpiece. I think she put some sesame oil at the base of the cup. Add in some sesame seeds, some of the crunchy toasted noodles. Now I'm going to scoop in the fried rice. gonna pack that rice in so I can fit more. I'm surprised that all fit. 
like in this cup, filled it to the brim and made a mess. Oh, this might be the hardest part, flipping it. Ready, set, go. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a little volcano. Oh my God, I'm like a Michelin star chef right now. Dun, 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 dun. It's like a lava cake, but not. I'm gonna break it. Ready? <gasps> oh, this is the messiest recipe we've made all day. It opens like a flower. It did, slow-mo. It just looks like a plate of fried rice, guys. Time to taste test this. Oh, it's not worth the effort. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't know if it's just me, but it tastes just really dry. What I do like about it though is the crunch. What it's lacking is like that oomph. It doesn't have that depth of flavor and you know like Shin Ramen, it's super spicy when you have it in like the, like the normal way, but for some reason I can't really taste the spice and it doesn't taste like Shin Ramen at all. Mm. I'm on the fence with this one guys, on the fence. It needs kimchi, but let's, let's see what's in things. There's not much flavor. Like if this was just the carb component of your meal and you had like some protein or something more flavorful, then yeah, the rice could work because it's quite subtle. But if you're eating this on its own, I feel like you need more flavor, hence kimchi. Okay, round two. Mm. If you just make it as like the TikTok recipe, it's lacking. But if you just, you know, sprinkle some kimchi on top, I think it's like a pretty decent fried rice. Ramen. Fried ramen. I don't rice. really taste ramen. Like, where did it disappear? It's all rice. It was, it's mostly rice with a bit of crunch. Shin ramen. Let me know what you think of this one. Where's the soup? There's Why no is there rice? No? No? No. Not a, not a great one? No yeah. thumbs up. I mean, it's, it's okay. Honestly, Shin Ramen Our favorite. tastes my favorite noodles. better than this. It, this. it tastes good on its own. Yeah, you don't need to alter it, but the effort it took and the mess I made making this. <laughs> you made a mess? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was it's, it's probably not worth it. What are you giving like this? Side, side thumb. I'm giving it a side, side thumb. thumb. <laughs> side thumb. Now let's make the popular chili oil noodles. Everyone's obsessing over the cheesy ramen hack, but I'm still hooked on these one bowl chili garlic noodles. So grab your dark soy sauce, black vinegar, minced garlic and ginger, green onions, crushed red pepper flakes, and let it sizzle. Pour some hot oil over the top, mix it all together, and these are the best noodles. Okay, we're switching to a different noodle. I'm using rice noodles for this recipe, and I'm gonna add in some dark soy sauce. Okay, some black vinegar. Minced garlic, minced ginger, some green onions. Oh, I'm going to touch it. No, do not touch the oil then, please. Add in some red chili flakes. And then I've already heated up some oil and now I'm going to pour it on top. Oh my God, do you hear the sizzle? It's that sizzle. Okay, and now we'll give it a good mix. If this tastes good, that's like the quickest recipe ever. Okay, this is a pretty big bowl of noodles. It looks amazing. I feel like I could use a little bit more vinegar in this, but it's pretty good. Mm. Gonna try not to slurp because that triggers some of you guys. Sorry, but a little bit more vinegar would be better. Should I add more vinegar? But actually, you try it before I add more vinegar. Right? Mmm, more vinegar. Mmm, more garlic. More garlic. See? You want just a bit more of everything. We're just overly seasoning everything. <laughs> we just like more of everything, guys. <laughs> add just a little well, bit I more, adds all of the garlic in. I think because we had so much noodles, this is like one packet That's of true. those noodles. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, coriander, coriander, yes. That's what it's missing. We're just like making this a little bit We're just of like... our own. Now that we've made those adjustments, let's go. Mm. Better. Better. Mm -hmm. Better. I like this one. It's like the China. You live in China? 
Yes, Sichuan. 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 Noodles. How do you say noodles? Mian. Sichuan mian. Yeah, it tastes actually like quite yeah. authentic. Amazing. The Chinese food. This one was very quick to make, guys. You're too tall. You're too tall. <laughs> Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a little hair flick. Oh, I just messed your you hair just up. Just made it worse. <laughs> Kind of good. I don't know. I'm a bit confused about this one. Not something I usually go for, I guess. Um, Didn't I like it? You like it? Okay, we don't love love it, but it's like tasty. But maybe because we like vinegar stuff. Mmm. Like, I like it too. I just don't think it's vinegary enough. You want more vinegar? Yeah. You want more vinegar? <laughs> just a bit more flavour. It needs a bit more of a punch. Oomph. Oomph. Half ish. Like it's good. Let's go for 45. 45. Thumbs up, 45 degree thumb up. Oh my God, I have to try these red curry ramen noodles. I love a good bowl of ramen noodles and these 20 minute Thai red curry ramen noodles with a little bit of cherry garlic oil are so delicious and obviously they're easy because they take 20 minutes. So you make a quick oil, you get some herbs, get a little bit of ginger, pour the oil over those fresh herbs and then you wanna boil off some ramen noodles. I love to use the brown rice ramen noodles. Add a little soy sauce to the mix, toss it all together and then I serve it off with green onions on top. They're so good, you guys are gonna love them. First off, let's boil off. First off, wait, need to stir, wait. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start by boiling the ramen noodles, and then use sesame oil to fry the green onions until they're fragrant. We're gonna like cut down the recipe because I only use one packet of ramen. Gonna add in a little bit more oil. I got some oil on the lens point of view, your camera lens. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of the red curry paste. So I'm gonna let the curry paste cook for about a minute. Then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add in some coriander, some basil, lots of basil, and then ginger, garlic, and some chili flakes. And then we can pour in our oil. And then I'm going to toss in the noodles and give it a good mix. I don't know what to expect with this one. And I've never made like a curry paste noodle before. So I guess I'm just going to try it. Ooh. Making a little drumstick with it. Okay. Mmm, not really what I expected. It's got a kick to it. It's got a kick. It's got a big kick to it. I think my nose is dripping. I feel like I should have added a little bit more red curry paste because it would give it that extra flavor and oomph. And her recipe looked really saucy. And so I think she added a lot more oil and stuff too. But I just thought I'd cut down because I only made like one portion. But it's not too bad. It's not the yummiest thing I've ever eaten. But if it was in front of me, I'd finish it. Look at you go, twirling that noodle. <laughs> I was going to say twirling that noodle like a probe until you dropped it. That's quite nice. It's nice, but like I've never had like a curry noodle, so I was like, I don't know what to expect. It doesn't scream Thai to me, but it's a tasty flavor. It screams yeah. basil. Basil, more, actually the basil's the quite basil. strong. Yeah. yeah, it's not the yummiest, but it's good. It's good. It's still good. But... It's good. Okay, Alfred. Alfred, come here. Come here, my boo. You are summoned into the kitchen, hubby, to try these curry basil noodle garlic oil. <laughs> That did not sound very nice. Come down to my level. Legs apart so you don't hurt your back. Ugh. What? You, you're very... making all these faces today. Usually you're so happy to eat my cooking. I know. Can we just like stick to pasta TikTok? If you guys haven't seen that, all of those pastas. It was a hit. It was a Amazing. hit. Check out that video. Very different to today. Very, very disappointed, I must say. <gasps> He's getting so demanding. I. I didn't eat all day because I thought today oh was going to be a I'm great so day. Sorry. It's not bad, but you know, it's a bit oily, huh? I don't know. It's like, I think all these recipes are lacking flavor. 
They're lacking flavor. It's okay. It's okay. The best one was just the first one, and it kind of went downhill. Right there. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. At least he's honest. It's okay. It's a this one. It's every everyone agrees. Yeah. Oh my god! It looks like a it looks like a, a hot dog. Yeah. Is that your thumb? Why is it so long? <laughs> you just went straight to ice cream. Oh my gosh. I feel like I had. I needed like. You needed. I needed something. Like, you needed. Something. It was like that's fine for me. Hi guys. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's so dissatisfied, he walked right into our light. Boo! Our light collapsed! The only good one was the first one. Okay. The only good recipe. I agree. I think the best one was the TikTok ramen. The viral TikTok ramen. Uh, it's uh, me. Oh, is that on my face? Is something on my face or is that on the screen? Oh, it's on my face. Anyways guys, that is it to this video. I think today was a bit of like, more of a miss than a hit. But in saying that, all the recipes, they're edible, they're okay. But the first one was definitely the highlight. Big thanks to Karma for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to download the free Karma Chrome extension using my link below. I guess that is it for me guys. <gasps> we didn't do the like. We gotta do the like. Alfred, do you wanna be a part of the like? Yes, come, come, be be a part of the like gang. Come, I demand you to. Also, don't forget to thumb this video. <laughs> it is the best. The song, the song that was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe guys. We'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Look like a giant hot dog.